Work with what you got. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Move over, Harry Potter. There's a new kid in town. Following the success of the first Wimpy film last year, and with book sales of more than 40 million copies, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series is coming back to movie theaters, and this time, Roderick rules. Devin, as the title character, you really terrorize your on-screen brother a lot. Do people ever give you a hard time about that in real life? Um, yeah, no, I get the occasional, um, you're really scary in the first film. <laughs> um, I reassure them, though, that in the second we see many colors of Roderick, many different sides. Your character isn't as wimpy as he was in the first film, right? Like, he's kind of grown, matured, he has a love interest in this film. Do you feel like he's kind of built up more confidence? Greg really isn't that wimpy. He, he's just a, he just looks like a wimpy kid. I mean, he's scrawny and small. But, no, he really doesn't have the personality of a wimpy kid. He's just himself, and he's a little bit manipulative. So, we don't really like manipulative people. But he comes off really like him. What was it like coming back for the sequel? Was it kind of like coming back from summer vacation, reuniting? Yes, yes. Yeah. It was almost like seeing a long lost relative almost. Yeah. We, like, with the first movie, we really became like a family. Like a second family. We were all hoping that we would do a second one, and thankfully it happened. It was just undescribable, our feelings, when we saw each other again, because we weren't sure if we would. And now we'll see you back for a third, right? Yeah, yeah. and a fourth and a fifth. Hopefully Everyone goes opening weekend. Yeah. I think so. Parents, brace yourselves for a trip to the movie theaters. Diary of a Wimpy Kid Roger Fools opens nationwide on Friday. And industry experts are predicting ticket sales will be anything but wimpy. Ken Lombardi, CBSNews.com, New York.